Hello everyone, welcome to week four deep dive. So really quickly, I just want to make sure that uh, you guys spend the first portion of class just going over everything that you need in order to finish your game, make sure that everything is working. It is always good to click on the green flag and test, test, test your game. Make sure that everything is working the way that it should um, when it comes to the different interactions with the player and the obstacles making sure that your buttons are working. You just want to make sure that overall everything is working the way that it should. Now, if you notice uh, throughout this game, we weren't really focusing too much on sound, which is perfectly fine. You guys can always add sound whenever you guys want or take the opportunity now to do that. You guys should already have an idea as to how that works. Now, once you have everything that you need pretty much completed for your game and you're ready to share out and play other students' game to see how they've done their work, you guys can go ahead and make sure to click on the share button. As always, if you do not see it orange, that means it's already been clicked. If it's already blue, so that means you've already shared your work. Or if it's not there, that means you haven't gone to your email for scratch and accepted the email that they sent you to make sure that you have this button. So make sure you guys are able to do that. If you can't, for whatever reason, it's not the end of the world. You guys can always just share your screen and just play your game. It's just that other people won't be able to play it. For those of you that can, you guys can go ahead and click on share screen, click on copy link, and then copy the link. You guys can go ahead and put this on the Zoom chat so you guys can go ahead and play each other's games. You can also email this to families and friends so that they can play your game. And the best thing about Scratch is they do not need a profile. All they need is the link that they can go ahead and click on. They can click on the green flag and they can go ahead and play the game. Now, if you did not create the info button, uh, for those of you who were not in the deep dive lessons or just weren't able to get to it, you guys can go ahead and add instructions in this box. So every time anyone clicks on it, they can immediately see how to play your game and any other information that they need before they go ahead and start playing your game. But other than that, you guys did an amazing job. Hopefully everyone enjoyed everything that they did for this game and are looking forward to the new game of the month for April.